How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Caswell Customs. Vinny here. Today we got Paul here. So. And uh, we're going to be throwing some tow mirrors on the 1500. So, Paul got a new set of tow mirrors. Let's go ahead and uh, show you what he got. Check some up. So, I got these from uh, redline360.com. These are manual extending for the 2014 to 2018 1500. So they got the amber accent there. They also had a blacked out or a smoked model, but those are currently out of stock. So uh, can't wait to get these wired back or wired up. Once again, we're going to be doing some electrical on the truck, so you always want to disconnect your battery um, just so that you don't short anything out or damage anything. So we're going to go ahead and disconnect the battery. It's, a, I think, a 10 millimeter. Yep. Um, just take that off, throw it to the side, and then you should be good. Because we're going to be dealing with the mirror, um, we have to start taking off the door trim. And on these uh, Chevys, this is almost one solid piece. We got to get to these bolts to take them out. So we're going to start taking apart the door frames. We have to take apart the whole door because it actually has to plug in right here where these other controls are. So um, we're going to start getting the doors apart and start getting everything uh, taken apart so we can then get this mirror on, fitted up, and then wired in. So it's a seven millimeter to start taking off these bottom bolts. And Paul looked up the rest of the bolts, so we'll tell you as we go through them. All right, so there's two tabs you gotta pop off first. Uh, either a pick set or a small screw driver can do. You got one right in here, and then you got one behind the door handle. So then you're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, seven millimeter bolts you'll have to take off to take the door assembly off. So after you get those screws removed, you gotta take out this silver trim piece. And then there's an additional screw in here. So then you'll have one additional screw right in here. So while Paul's taking apart the door, I got a little sneak peek for next week's video. Um, so this is the exhaust, so it's the long tube headers and the uh, side pre-axle exhaust that we got for the White Knight Sierra. So um, what we're doing today is I didn't want these chromed, um, I wanted them black. However, it was a hundred extra bucks to get these painted black, so I was like, I'm going to save the money, I'm going to sand them down and paint them myself. So I'm going to go ahead and get these sanded down and we're going to spray paint them black and we're going to be using a high temp um, engine paint. So, you know, these are at the opposite end, so they shouldn't get as hot as the engine does. So that should be perfectly fine. But the process is really going to be a lot of the sanding to really get this chrome off. With the bolts removed now, you should be able to start pulling this off. Let's watch your weather stripping and your... Now you're gonna have, I have to undo this, pull out, and then you're gonna have your harness. Oh, mine's in the door. Whoop. I can't grip that while holding that. Vinny, you wanna grab that? Push the black down. Okay, there we go. All right. 
that now gets the door panel off the door. So now that we're getting that out, um, should just be able to pop this up and we'll actually be able to get the factory mirror off. So then you should just be able to pull this piece off. And then that exposes your three bolts holding the factory mirror on. Ours came, or the tow mirrors usually have four for more uh, stability. It looks like I might not have to drill that additional hole. I ended up just ripping it off. <laughs> yeah, because that's the thing they said use a trim tool, and I was like, I know Vinny's got them. I was like, if not, I'll just uh, end up breaking it off. <laughs> Because when we did the speakers in my Saturn, I remember Craig and I ripped the door handle off and he had to silicone it back in. Oh, so there is a force. Yeah, so it looks like they drilled. I'll have to see if those bolts fit through it. If not, I'll just make it wider. So, you know what size that one is? No, I'm just going to take a guess and I'm hoping a <laughs> 7, but probably not. Why don't you plug that back in? Is it what? Why'd you plug that back in? That's oh, down. it's got to come out. <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. You're right. What's going on? Oh, no, bigger. So these bolts are 10 millimeters, so I'm just gonna break these free. I'm really getting into the action. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Did it, Steve? You never knew it'd be so exciting. You got that? Yep. <laughs> Ballroom bullets. <laughs> Golden. So, we now have this mirror out, and I want your guys' opinion, because I keep telling Paul that he needs to, see how this is color matched? So, let me get the other mirror. And I want you guys to comment in the comment section down below if you think he should color match this top and bottom piece to match with the truck. Just give it kind of that, you know, that nicer factory look while, you know, still obviously upgrading the tow mirror. So comment in the comment section down below if you think he should color match these. When I put my tow mirrors on my truck, um, I have the 07 to 13, this is obviously the 15. Um, I actually use the factory hardware to go to the mirror because the ones that they sent actually didn't have big enough washers to actually hold it in place. I thought it was pretty janky. Um, so the factory wash or the factory nut washer combo just work a little bit better. So as long as they're the same threads, my suggestion is to use that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, put the wiring through the hole. And feed the rest of that through. And then we're just gonna line those bolts up. And Sammy, I think you're here. Oh. I thought you were sitting on them. Whoop. Just get these started so Vinny can let go. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, so I didn't have to drill the additional hole because it was pre-drilled already. It's like they knew. I didn't think the factory actually cared. <laughs> Doing big things down at Fort Wayne Assembly. Did you ever find a spot to go modding? What about Cody's place where you went that one time? He doesn't own the house anymore. He sold. Oh, it. that was at his house. Yeah, that was in his backyard. He sold the property, so we can't go there anymore. So. No, it's funny because uh, you know I posted it and then Justin. Um, you know, yeah, and yeah, he liked it. I know. Like, I thought you never like any of my stuff. I was like, obviously Justin wants to go money with us. <laughs> yeah, let me make a, a small call to Craig. Well, oh, I know. I just wanted to close it partially to see what it looked like. Oh yeah, bud. Oh, she could look good there, eh? Yeah, I think the amber doesn't look bad with the amber and no, the headlights. I think it does match your headlights nice. Now yeah. that we're actually looking at it. I think you are right. Maybe I, I think it needs to be color matched. I think that would just add it. Even if I don't do the bottom, just at least yeah. the top square, like my yeah, factory, like factory one. So just. Literally match that top one with that color. Yeah. I think it looked real good. All 
It's entirely in the prep work, all right? You don't prep this right, the paint's not gonna stick. So I gotta just get all this chrome off here. So getting a, getting a little bit of an arm workout in. Hi, Grandma. So you told me the other day on the phone that you watch our videos. I hope you're doing good up north. Uh, I just want to give you a shout out and say I love you. We'll try and keep the cursing to a minimum. Little update. So we got the wire ran through the passenger door. Vinny's putting the trim back on over there as I'm going to take apart the driver's side now. The project, what we should do is freaking insulate this barn and put heating and cooling in it. At least heating. I know. <laughs> Tim, where are you? Oh, this goes inside. Okay. Did you see the interiors of the 2020s? Um, I've seen them in like the Duramaxes. I haven't really seen them in the um, they look, 1500s. They look cool. I, I, look, I like them. I don't like the center console. Um, of the ones that still have the flip up seat. I like the three cup holder like I do, uh -huh. or I have, but yeah. So cool. Yeah, I saw a, a little Duramax in the Silverado. They're almost the same price. It was only like 41000 Yeah, they're not bad, honestly. Like, if you're not doing any like heavy towing, but you still kind of want like some of like the nicer aspects of the diesel, yeah. Pretty good option. Like, I've seen a couple of the Ford diesels out and like, they look nice. You know, so all I have to have 2,500 going in. Well, hopefully we can just get the uh, dedicated tow rig or what? Yeah. Grace, are you listening? Vinny would like a truck for his birthday. Yeah, see, it's Denali 2,500. Just all white, screaming your name. Perfect. Only like 30,000 dollars. Yeah, I ain't got that kind of cash. <laughs> Mr. Moneybags, come on. Oh, yeah. Hey, it looks level. Like, you know, some that you don't know right here and they got the cat guy look. Yeah, it looks real clean. Looks good. Looks real good. Looks like it belongs. <laughs> now it just needs that color match. Yeah, I, I, th I think you're right, man. I think it should be color match. The one the Sea Boys had, and then like if you had like the name, not necessarily the same one, but like something like that. Yep. Mm. I good. Oh, helps if I unplug this. Oh shit, that broke that one. <laughs> it's inside the door. The rest of them stayed fine. Here's that release. Yeah, it's a lot easier when you take that out. Gentle. So, see this little clip? Yeah. I gotcha. What's up? Oh, what the hell? What? This one's not drilled. Wow. They drill the left side, not the right. They drill the passenger, but not the Hold on, are we putting this in or are we just testing the fitment? I just want to test the fitment, but I can't get it close enough right. unless the stuff's fit. Oh, good, beautiful. Right? Yeah, she'll work. Yeah, because I think you, you want to draw a little bit of paint in there. Yeah, I'll go get the pour 15. All right. So we're just dabbing a little pour 15 in the hole that we drilled, uh, just to kind of help with any early rusting. So just uh, getting that in there, and uh, we're gonna let that dry. All right, so we're gonna paint the tips. I got done sanding them. You're too fast. Sorry, just come right over here. So we got we got done sanding down the uh, the tips. Um, so all I'm using is Rust-Oleum engine enamel. It's up to 500 degrees. You know, this is for an engine, and obviously the exhaust comes out of the engine, but it's way farther away. So this shouldn't have any problems with the heat. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and start spraying. Let them 
that's it. I'll flip it to the other side. Get real violent with her. <laughs> Easy. Uh, she just needed a man. <laughs> it's all in the beard. Rotate it. Beard strength. By the way. Well, the hole compared to this tape job isn't. <laughs> this is what Benny does when he can't sleep at night. Big dick Rick, yep. All right, big dick Rick. How am I supposed to tape this? You're the best around. <laughs> What are you trying to do? No, I gotta get it undone oh, so I can pull the wire through. I wanna say that ended. Vinny, did you put the bottom on? What bottom? Inside the dash? Or the bottom of the dash? Board? Like under here? Did you put no. the okay. Okay. Alright, we're just manually feeding this through, right? Yeah, it was easy on the other oh, side. Are you okay? The same on this side. You have you your flashlight, right? Yeah, I was gonna say it's somewhere. is all the passenger side was a lot better because it's like they didn't have my your fucking pedals and shit all in the way you got you see i can see it i just keep you want a needle nose or something nope I almost got it. yeah i'm gonna need needle nose all right stay right here oh god oh fuck these are electric <laughs> should have put your seat farther back before we started this Oh, I know. That's what I was saying. I went to do that, and I was like, oh. I got it. The plan was to merge them in here, inside the cab. Yeah. Cut whatever excess there was, and then have another part going on just the three wires going out into the firewall. Okay. So like merge it like here and here, but I want to button all that side up and get okay. this all tucked up in there. Yep. Roughly where it's going to be, solder it, have a little excess zip tied up underneath there. Yeah. Well, do you think we should solder it first with it hanging so that way it's just easier to tuck after? You want it tucked first and then solder. I just want the other side tucked and then we can do this little bit here and then get it all up. All right. So... Put the door back on? Yeah, let's put the door back on. So now we're gonna throw our trim piece back in and start tucking all of our wiring up into it. Um, and then uh, we're gonna go to the other side and you can just use um, wire clamps to put the wires together, but we're just gonna solder it together. Uh, we've had a couple issues on this where it's come apart with those, so we just wanna solder it together and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this on and then start over there. This one's routed in a somewhat make sense spot for because here's the thing like we literally have to do like a three-way solder here because we need to solder these two together and then we need to solder two more together once they're through yeah we need to solder what's going through solder to here, these two together, and solder the third one that's going up and out. You get what I'm saying? So that the one connection is here for all the wires. Yep. Okay.
Easy does her. Way better than using the hanger. <laughs> All right, gentle now, you're starting to get... Stop. Yes, this is where I'm really like... I don't think you need a ground. I don't... It's With the rest of that wiring harness, I don't see why it would need to be grounded out. What else? But also, why would there be three wires? But the fact that it's blue, white, and black and white, and not like a full black for ground... I'm gonna do the blue and the white together for the like the um, parking lamp, and then the black and the white for the reverse lamp, and see what happens. So we're gonna take our little fuse tap, and we're gonna connect all of our wires to go into the fuse box. Um, so on the GM fuse panel, you have your trailer parking lamp, which is what we're gonna do the running lights to and then you have your reverse lamp which is what we're going to do the uh, backup lights that are on the lights to. We're going to do the blue and white together to the trailer parking lamp and then we're going to do the black and white to the reverse lamp. Um, we're thinking that these are for both of the turn signals and running lights um, and this is for obviously those backup lights we think. If not, we're gonna have to cut it and refigure it out, but we didn't buy the extra harness that just makes us plug and play, so we're kind of playing around to see what we can get to work. All right, moment of truth. We're gonna hook the battery back up and find out if these work properly. So we'll see. Get your keys and uh, let's uh, turn on put in there. Yes. lights. You're nervous, I'm the one who fucking wired this shit. <laughs> I gotta drive it. Okay, well these running lights are on. Put it in reverse and see if the reverse lights come on. Well no, these the lights are already on. Are they not in reverse? Yeah. <laughs> They're definitely wrong. So, what? I put it in reverse and see if they turn off? They turn off. That's not it. the front ones. Alright, hold on. So they're on now, right? Correct. They still on? Yes. And then when I put it in drive, they come on. When you put it in drive, what comes off? These are still on. When you put it in reverse, these went out, and these are supposed to turn on when you put it in reverse. And these turn off. Okay, so we definitely wired something wrong. Okay. Okay. You want that unplugged again? Yeah. Fire so up. We have black and white and white and blue by itself. Fire this bitch up. Okay. Running light on. Okay. Reverse light is not on. Throw reverse it in reverse. Out. Put it in reverse. Mother! <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. All right, All right, hook. The guy who engineered this is a prick. <laughs> I'm telling you, let's just hook it to the controller and call it a night. That's fine with me. Let's do it. Shut it. Did you guys split? All right, so we have running lights. Now. Anyway. We have a finally fully functional working tow mirrors. I'd say it turned out pretty good. Note to self, wiring diagram is in the second box. <sighs> Alright, so as you can see, we literally barely know what we're doing. Uh, but you know, we still like trying out new stuff and adding stuff to our trucks. 
Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and drop a like on it. As always, if you could uh, share the video and give us a subscription, that'd be great. Uh, if you got any questions about anything that's going on, because obviously we had a super hard time with it, go ahead and ask a question down in the comment section. I'm Vinny with Caswell Customs. Paul. What up? See you in the next one.